Feels really, really good to, to get first place today, you know, because I feel like I earned it. I feel like I had to go through some real adversity to get here, to be where I am today. And so, um, you know, I had, to, I had to go against some tough guys, but, you know, uh, after the past two weekends of, of going against tough guys, I felt really prepared today. I felt like I was ready to go. And so I, I'm really happy with my performance. Of course, there's always room for improvement and I'll go back and watch my matches and see what I can do better. But I'm happy where I'm at today and, and I look forward to continuing to improve in the next few uh, months and years even. I went against Cody Elmer from 10 Planet Tucson. And I know Cody's a good wrestler, but he's so much more beyond that. I knew that he's not just a leg locker. I knew that he wasn't just a wrestler. I knew that he was gonna be a complete grappler. My strategy against Cody today was to sprint. I came out in a sprint. I came out going hard. Nobody is weak today. Everybody's got a complete jujitsu game. And so we have to find any little thing we can. I saw that he struggled to make weight. I knew he was upset that he had to cut weight. So I knew I was gonna have to push the pace on him. In my second match, uh, I went against Andy Varela, and he's a good friend of mine. You know, I love, I love that guy. I competed with him two weeks ago. We were on a team together against Team Drivesdale. So I hate that I had to go against him, but it is what it is. But I was being definitely more cautious with him, avoiding the headlocks, avoiding that kind of game. And I was able to take him to OT, which was part of my strategy later on. As the round progressed, I, I, I could see that I wasn't gonna be able to finish him. So I go, okay, we're gonna go to OT, and I'm, I'm gonna choose the arm. I usually choose the back, but this week we had been working on arms, and I was like, I was, I'm gonna use these new strategies. I'm gonna take a risk and take a position that I'm not used to, used to taking in high level comp, and it really paid off. You know, it paid off to pick the spider web and, and catch him with the, uh, the rear triangle in, uh, in OT. I was able to hold out, time ran out, I won the match, you know, again, just strategizing, you know, against extremely tough, tough opponents. And then my last and final match was against Derek, so I could see that he was in a jog, right? He was more in a, just a slow jog, and I was like, not today, I'm going to come out in a sprint. And so same thing with him, I saw that, and the strategy was just to come out, come out hard, and just sprint towards him, sprint towards the finish, and I was able to accomplish that. I was able to finish him with an arm bar. I think, I don't know, it felt like to me anyways, within two or three minutes, so I'm really, really happy with that. And I was just hungry, man. I was just hungry, and, and I don't know how bad he wanted it, but I wanted to win today. I wanted it bad, and, and, and uh, I hope that showed, man. It means a lot to me, and uh, this spot uh, secures me a spot on the subversive team, and then this also gets me a spot in the 170 CJJ that's coming up, and so that'll be my first, uh, my first foray into uh, combat jiu-jitsu, but I've done MMA in the past. I had two MMA fights. I'm not completely green when it comes to getting striked. Uh, in the face, and so uh, I look forward to uh, kind of figuring out what that's going to entail, training for that competition. It feels nice because I've, I've had alternate spots in the past and nobody got injured, so I didn't get into the big show, and so I'm really happy that this time uh, I'm, I'm the, the, the athlete and I'm not the uh, alternate, right? And so I'm really happy about that. Daddy Regardless of what my opinion is on it, the fans love it. The numbers don't lie. You can't argue with the results. At the end of the day, I'm an entertainer, right? I'm a prize fighter, and I'm gonna give the fans whatever they want. Uh, uh, Cody, can I borrow you? 10th really? Planet Jiu-Jitsu is a mindset. It's not, it's not a, a set of techniques. It's not like, I, people see us and we do rubber guard and we do lockdown and we do the truck and we do these things, but the reality is that 10th Planet is more of a frame of mind. You know, it's, it's difficult now because Jiu-Jitsu is a hive mind, Jiu-Jitsu as a whole, right? Um, anything that anybody does at high level competition is gonna get emulated by everybody watching, right? So say Keenan Cornelius pulls off some sort of sequence, all the fans, all the people, all the jiu-jitsu athletes, we're all watching, we're gonna emulate whatever he's doing, whatever Gordon Ryan is doing, whatever the best guys are doing, we're gonna emulate that. So today, um, I was able to employ some of the strategies I've been working on at home, and I figured, well, people are gonna see it, right? It's live on YouTube, so on and so forth, so I figured, um, it's already out in the ether, so I, I asked Eddie, I go, can I show you this? I'd, I'd love for you know, us to incorporate this into our system, you know, because I do think that it can uh, help expand uh, our 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu system. 
and uh, he asked me to show him what I was doing, and so I showed him what I was doing. And, and again, that's just kind of like um, a representation of, of the mindset that I was talking to about, that open mind mindset that uh, Eddie employs, where he goes, okay, show me, he films it, he puts it out, maybe even puts it in mastering the system, so on and so forth, and then the rest of the 10 Planet people, or anybody that's watching really gets to then incorporate that into their game. So um, that's kind of high level competition. It's just like you only get to keep your secret techniques for a little bit, because once you're on the big stage, they go out into forever, you know? They go out everywhere into to everyone. Win or lose, I'm still trying to improve, just like everybody else on the match today and everybody else on the match at CJJ. We're all just trying to get better. I'm still trying to get better. I'm not a finished product. This is not my final form, and I, I, I expect lots of failure on the way and some success, and I'm really happy that today I got to experience success. We did it. We did it, man. 10 peaks.